Hi folks, Joey Ricard with TrackSideScenery.com. Welcome aboard. Today we're going to take a look at some of the features and design elements of our backdrops. I'll show you just how they work and how they can add life to and beyond the confines of your layout or diorama. Let's start off by asking ourselves a question. Does a backdrop really make a difference? Yeah, only you can answer that one, but all you have to do is take a look at, well, the difference. These backdrops are not your standard panorama photo. Each variety and series was carefully designed with ultimate realism in mind. In order for a backdrop to be convincing, not only does the image have to be realistic, the elements in the image must be scale proportionate and have the proper perspective in relation to your physical scenery and equipment. Mm-hmm. We've all seen those out-of-scale trees, leaning buildings, and distracting shadows, just to name a few. Believe me when I tell you that all these things do make a difference and not all backdrops are created equal. Sure, a well-done backdrop is a thing of beauty. You put one up somewhere in the middle of your vast railroad empire and it looks great. But where do you go from there? Yeah, you bend down to track level and imagine yourself right there in the scene. Hmm. Then you look to the left and look to the right and realize your fantasy world disappears. This, my friends, is the very reason that we created our backdrops to work as a system. All of our backdrops are what we call repeaters. First off, each and every backdrop can be used by itself or in multiples of itself. As you can see here in this illustration, we're using multiples of the same style. If we wanted, we could use this same style and go on and on and on as far as we wanted and all in a seamless fashion. These repeaters also come in various lengths. For this example, they are the same style. They're just different lengths and they work the same way. Obviously, they need to be the same model scale and backdrop height so they all line up together. The seamless mating of the backdrops is made possible by elements on the sides of each backdrop that produce a blending or mating effect. Now this is not that old mirror effect that you might have seen elsewhere. Now if you use care when installing your backdrops, you just might find it hard to tell where the seams are. Even on our display layout, I sometimes forget where the seams are when I'm shooting photos. And that, my friends, is a good thing. All right, we talked about repeaters. You know, a single backdrop that can be used by itself or in multiples of itself? Well, series repeaters work exactly the same way. Series repeaters are a collection of different styles that are all part of a particular series. They all have the same seamless mating ability and can be used by themselves like we discussed or with all the other styles in that same series. This illustration depicts a bunch of backdrops from our Hickory Hollow series. For this example, we're using backdrops that are all the same height, length, and model scale. Now, I'm only doing it this way just so they'd all fit on the screen. But keep in mind that as long as they are all in the same series, the same model scale, and same height, any and all of the available links will work together seamlessly. As you can see, I'm just simply grabbing different styles, dragging them down there to see what they look like next to each other. You know, sometimes the hardest part of a backdrop project is deciding which ones you like and where you want to put them on your layout. Ah, decisions, decisions. We discussed how all backdrops in the same series work together. In some cases, you can use two completely different series of backdrops on your layout. This is accomplished by way of a transition print. Here we have a backdrop from the Hickory Hollow series on the left and one from the Valley Flat series on the right. Now, what do they look like if you put them together? <coughs> yeah, that doesn't look right, does it? So what we do is take a transition print and put between them. What do you think? Yeah, that does the job. Now, they're not available to work in all of the series, but if you want additional variety, look to see if transition prints are available for your selected backdrop series. A lot of modelers have roads on their layout, and there's no better way to add distance than to include a road in the backdrop. Yep, we've all seen that guy that has a road on his layout going nowhere. As with many of the elements in our backdrops, roads are a separate layer that can be moved and adjusted as needed to suit the modeler. For the most part, these roads can be placed anywhere you want them in the backdrop. You can add these roads as a standard option on the website in various spots. But if you want one in a specific spot, call or email us prior to ordering. The same flexibility is also available for some of our streams. 
Many of them can be moved left or right and be placed in a specific position you have on your layout. Additionally, some of the streams can be lowered and adjusted to fit the terrain and scenery of your layout. Now this adder pretty much speaks for itself. With many of the structures in the backdrops and in our line of building flats, we can customize these elements. Most of what we discussed thus far revolves around our standard backdrops. Many of the standard versions can be manipulated to suit the modeler where uneven terrain exists. In this example, we see a layout that has a level run for most of its right away. It's pretty much safe to say that the standard style backdrops will work out perfectly in this situation. There are those situations where you might have terrain that rises or falls. We can accommodate that by creating custom versions to flow with your scenery. In this illustration, we see an actual customer example of scenery and terrain that flows down and to the right. Working with the customer and using measurements that were provided, we established a grade profile to work with in the creation of his backdrop system. While we were at it, we also tailored the print sizes to work specifically in his space and allowed for the print seams to be at specific spots in relation to his room walls and corners. I want to show you an example of a custom system that was designed to fit precisely where the customer needed it and exactly how he envisioned it. This is a great layout that belongs to our friend Larry Burke. The terrain takes a huge dip where a fantastic river bridge scene is being built. Larry entrusted us with designing a believable scene that flows not only with his scenery, but also with our backdrops that he already has in place elsewhere. If you can envision it, we can help by adding life beyond the layout. This is Joey Ricard with TrackSideScenery.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit us online.